What concerns me at the moment is something much more basic, much more fundamental, and much more closely related to the core of Magna Carta. Uh, what, I, what I said a little bit earlier was that one of the fundamental points that comes out of Magna Carta is the idea that you have to have access to justice, that if you can't enforce your rights in a court, you have no rights. And in that sense, uh, David's right, that universal human rights are guff if they can't be enforced. Precisely. And that's why what interests Precisely. me is not so much universal human rights, but British civil liberties that can be enforced in our courts. And what concerns me at the moment is that this government is conducting a sustained and ideological attack on access to court. And it is passing almost without notice in the national media. <laughs> uh, I, want to give three, I want to give three examples of it. First of all, uh, the so-called reforms to legal aid. Secondly, the proposals made two weeks ago massively to increase court fees, which have passed almost without comment. And uh, thirdly, the uh, new legislation which will restrict access to judicial review. Uh, firstly, in, in relation to legal aid, as many of you will know, uh, two years ago, the government uh, removed legal aid from most forms of civil litigation. Uh, whole areas where previously legal aid had been available, it was removed from, including almost all family law cases, except where there is recent evidence of domestic abuse. Uh, this has resulted in uh, far greater numbers of cases where people are litigants in person, cases taking much longer, and appalling situations arising in court. Uh, a situation a few weeks ago where uh, a father was seeking access to a child, where the mother said that he had sexually abused the child, where because no legal aid was available, the judge was contemplating a situation where the father would have to cross-examine his own child on the truth of the mother's allegation that he had abused that child. That, that's an intolerable situation to have in any court, and it is the direct result of government policy. And the Lord Chancellor, Christopher Grayling, sent leading counsel into that court to argue that it was the father's choice to be unrepresented because he had a disposable income of £10,000 a year. I'm not making this up, it happened. So that's the first thing, legal aid. And the Public Accounts Committee yesterday uh, produced a report in which they pointed out that the Ministry of Justice had introduced these reforms without first taking the trouble to work out whether the money they would save would in fact be saved or whether there would simply be knock-on costs in other departments because of the physical and mental harm done to people who would no longer be able to get access to legal advice. And the comment of the Public Accounts Committee, a, a cross-party uh, committee, was that the Ministry of Justice now has no idea whether it's actually saved any money from these reforms.